Being overly addicted to sex? Like obsessed? <laughs> like in an unhealthy way? I think it's like just an excuse. It's with any other addiction, like you feel like you can't really live your life without it. Sex addiction, a hot topic in recent years with a number of celebrities like David Duchovny and Tiger Woods being treated in rehab. But the truth is sexual addiction or hypersexual disorder, which some estimates say affects 5 to 6 percent of Americans, mostly men, isn't even classified by the American Psychiatric Association. But that could soon change. Hypersexual disorder isn't about sex any more than an eating disorder is about food, than a gambling problem is about money. Dr. Rory Reed, a UCLA psychologist, says recently the school looked at the new criteria released by the American Psychiatric Association and believes it's a solid groundwork. We took the criteria that was proposed by the American Psychiatric Association for a test drive amongst uh, 200 patients at various mental health clinics around the country and what we found was this criteria does a really good job of classifying patients who appear to have these kinds of issues. This is a DSM. It is basically the Bible for psychiatrists and the criteria that the American Psychiatric Association have released is basically the first step into making sexual addiction an accepted disorder in the newest edition of this book. Dr. Reed says having a lot of sex doesn't make you an addict. It's the reasons why you're having it and whether sex is like a drug to you. Do you spend excessive time thinking about it? Do you engage in risky sex with no regard to your own well-being? Can you not control your sexual appetite? These are the kinds of questions possible sex addicts need to ask themselves. Some we spoke to say they don't believe in sexual addiction, that it's just an excuse people use to cover up bad decisions. Having a diagnostic label doesn't help people avoid or escape consequences, but what it can do is pave the way for people to go in and get treatment and help to reduce these problems in their lives.